Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am doing your evening reading, yay. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? You guys know I love this time of day. Um, I do, I love these evening readings, I gotta say. And thank you for being with me at this time of the night, you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you to all of those on the other side of the world, too. It's it's like morning where you are right now, right? Um, yeah, thank you, everyone. Okay, so what is this? Ooh. Someone's going to jail? Because this is, this is jail. It could be a mental prison as well, but it feels like jail. Somebody thinks they're going to jail, and they are mad, mad, big mad. Um, all I've been, well, not all I've been picking up on, but I have been picking up on a lot of masculine, angry energy, okay? I feel like some people turn this person in for something. They're so angry. This person feels very betrayed by other people around them. Or it's it's almost like they it's almost like they feel like they were set up. Okay? They feel like they were set up for something. Um or everyone is accusing them of something. Oh man, and all they can think about is you. That's all they can think about is what they could have had, woulda, shoulda, coulda. All their life would be happy right now had they chose you instead, okay? Their, their life, they'd be living a happy life of wish fulfillment. They'd be comfortable. They wouldn't be going to jail if they had only chosen you, collective. Okay, that's what this is, that they screwed up really bad. Um, and now if this person wants to come back around, they're, they're going to be in jail, I feel, for a long time. They're going to miss any opportunity of coming towards you now. Okay. Yeah, man. Somebody has either set this person up or turned them into the police. See, and they're upset because you're free. You're free and you don't have these kind of issues that they have. Okay, your life is an open book. You can go and do whatever you want. You can manifest the kind of life that you want. Like you have freedom and this person won't. Okay, they're so mad. Well, they, they chose people um, that really didn't have their back over somebody who was ten toes down for them, okay? This is the ten of pentacles, or ten of cups in this deck. And I feel like you were always so sweet, and you had a good heart for this person, and this person could have trusted you, and they know it. You were probably the only one that they could have trusted out of this whole entire group of people that they had around them. And I feel like now everyone is like putting some kind of blame on this person, okay? Um, or accusing them of something or turning them in for something that is going to, I feel like they know they have to go to jail. And they're going to be there for a long time. Like this is going to be a lengthy term for this person, okay? A lengthy sentence, all right? And meanwhile, you will have your freedom, yeah, yeah, permanent. The, the, these consequences that this person is facing now are permanent, okay? Like, they're never going to get you back now. Um, they're never going to have that opportunity again, right? Uh, these are, are uh, the people that turned in this person or set this person up. These were, like, um, lifelong people in their life, their friends, family members, okay? Those connections are going to be gone. They're, this person's not going to have anything to do with them after this. So, like, all, all of this, this one decision to leave you behind and not choose you, that changed the whole trajectory of their future. That's what they're thinking. That one decision to leave you behind and not choose you over these other people, 
that changed everything about their future. Yeah, you were their divine counterpart. This is divine feminine energy. You could very well be moving away. In the amount of time that they have to spend in jail for whatever this is that they did, um, it, it could be years. And you're going to go on with your life. You're, you're going to keep moving forward. Okay? You could be planning a house move now. What is this? What did this person do? It was something that had to do with money. Okay, this person did something with money that is, um, I don't know, illegal. Uh, it could be something like theft or fraud or something. Yeah, see, and now they're stuck in a storm. So this is them getting their karma. Okay. They could have had some, like, shady business dealings. They could have been, because um, it does, it still feels similar to a setup energy. So I feel like they, they could have been talked into going into some kind of business venture or something. And then they, like, um, I don't know, it, it almost feels like they were framed or set up to take a fall. Okay, that's what it feels like. This person's, but they're angry with themselves mostly because they could have had it all with you. And they forfeited their, their destiny. They could have been in the Ten of Cups destiny with you, but they, they decided to throw it away for these people over here that set them up. Okay? There's going to be a lot of gossip going on around about this, what's happening with this person. I feel like you're going to find out about it, especially like say you live in a small town, right? Everybody knows everybody in a small town, you guys. And the gossip just spreads like wildfire. And I feel like that may be um, what's going to happen here. You're about to find out. Somebody's going to tell you, hey, you know what happened to so-and-so, right? Mm-hmm. Or you're going to just hear about it while you're um, out somewhere. You're going to hear other people talking about it. You may even see it on social media, but I'm kind of getting the sense that you may not even be on social media that much anymore. Okay? Divine feminine energy, you're busy. You're busy transforming your life and going after your dreams. You don't, I don't think you spend a lot of time on social media. But yeah, there's going to be a, there's going to be gossip about what's happening with this person. You're about to find out. Um, I feel like spirit wants you to know. Uh, they're getting their karma right now. This person's getting schooled by the divine. That means they're um, suffering karma. They're in a karmic storm. Everything's going crazy in their life, and they're about to have all their freedom taken away. Okay. You know what Spirit is showing me is, um, they're showing me the movie She-Devil. There could have been a karmic involved in this, maybe that turned this person in to the police, or um, spreading gossip, or setting this person up to take some kind of fall, a really bad fall. Like, they're going to be going to jail for a while, okay? Yeah, some kind of devil in disguise she devil that's what i'm talking about the movie she devil that's what this is she devil so this person chose a karmic individual over you and she's setting this person up look how happy she is about it the movie scene that they're showing me from the movie she devil is um the list there's a list in that movie of all of this person's assets. Bob's assets. That's it. Bob's assets. Um, he said that he only had like four things. Oh, what was it? It was family. It was, it was the home. It was the career. And it was freedom. Four things. Family, home, career and freedom and i feel like everything's been crossed off the list up until now i feel like um 
maybe this person ran their own business and they, like I said, they did some, some shady, sneaky things to their clients. Um, it could be something like fraud, embezzlement, scamming somebody. I don't know. Okay, but this karmic individual, she's turned this person in or she has set, set this person up to go to jail for a while, for a long time. Okay, um, but yeah, that's what happened here. Family, I feel like she's been crossing things off the list. First, I, she could have, I, I feel family, she could have alienated this person from their family, or she came in between your soulmate connection. Then it was home. I feel like she could have moved this person and created this absolutely miserable home life, or this person could have lost a home because of this karmic. Okay, then it's career. I feel like this has something to do with their career or their job or how they make their money. Now that's going to take a tumble because with all this gossip, no one's going to trust this person anymore. Okay. And this is going to be exposed. It's going to be exposed um, either through gossip or maybe, in, I don't know, at an event or every, the, like the whole town's going to hear about this. And now their freedom is being taken away as well. So basically one thing off of the uh, one thing after the next off of that list. Bob's Bob's assets. That's the name of the list in that movie. Um you may want to watch that movie. It's called She Devil with Roseanne Barr. It's really it's really an awesome movie. Um but yeah, that's who they chose over you. And now their whole life I feel is an absolute mess. Okay. And they're going to lose you for sure because you're going to be moving on with your life. You're not going to be waiting for this person. They've lost all opportunities now to come towards you. Okay. Yeah, look, this is that karmic. This is that she devil working with a friend working with other people to try to bring this masculine down and it worked but it was this masculine's fault because this is who they chose that's who they chose and in choosing this person they also chose the consequences from that and they chose the outcome from that and this is their outcome is jail time and and losing you the their divine counterpart their divine counterpart man yeah you're not speaking to this person there's been no communication this I, i'm kind of getting the sense that yeah spirit is severing this connection it's spirit that's severing this connection okay spirit wants you to move on they want you to release the burdens even if you give them like um uh like a silent goodbye, right? Um, you could be um, meditating about it, right? Envisioning yourself saying goodbye to this person, like um, a spiritual, mental goodbye, right? That's what, that's what spirit wants you to do, is just end this cycle, keep moving forward, okay? You could be a Cancer, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this person could be possibly a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. But yes, this is what spirit wants you to do because the, you're not going to wait for them. They're in too much trouble. They chose someone over you to begin with. And just know this person now is suffering the consequences of that choice. This is their karma. This is their karma for that choice. Okay, so spirit is like it's time for you to move to move forward, collective. Okay. Um, now let's see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about my collective? How does this person feel about the collective, please? They're frustrated because they they're frustrated and they're angry. That's what this is furious enraged they know that um and they know you're moving on 
they know you are moving on without them, but they are blocked from coming towards you. It even says blocked, prevented from coming towards you. Okay, because they have screwed up their future. Like big time. Okay, big time. Every choice they made here, especially that one to leave you behind for a karmic, that changed everything about their future. It changed their destiny. It changed their fate. It, ch it changed the, the trajectory. Yeah, it changed the trajectory of their future. Yeah, and on the bottom of the deck, it, there's that love. This person deep down inside, they love you. They know they love you. They know that they should have made a different choice. This person's in a whole lot of regret um, because they can trace all of this trouble back to that one choice they made. Okay? Yeah. Oh, they're in a lot of regret, but that doesn't mean they can have you back. And Spirit does not want you to wait for this person. Spirit wants you to move forward, okay? Move forward. Give me one more for my beautiful collective. Yeah, they're going to be in a whole lot of grief and sorrow. See, heartbroken, sorrowful suffering bereavement at the loss of uh, the loss of you because they lost you because of that one decision that they made it it kind of um caused a chain reaction right like a domino effect there you go that's what i want to say it was like a domino effect that one decision to leave you behind for a karmic it made everything else crumble and it wiped everything off of that Bob's assets list. I'm telling you, okay? They're, they're, um, they're crying over this. They're, they feel a bit frantic. They feel angry. They know that they're facing jail time, so they're dreading that, okay? I, I don't know. I feel like this person, even though they're facing jail time, their mind is still on you and the mistake that they made when they walked away. Yeah. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates, my darlings. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Yay. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.